good day everybody a happy new year as you come in today watching this video please do like share and subscribe um and today we'll be talking about the baltimore ravens and wow what a game by them against the Miami dolphins um lemma jackson has been astounding so far this season He's been playing good football this season, you know, and every prime time game that Lemar Jackson has played, he's been literally the best player on the field, you know. And yes, this season, you know, MVB's uh, race has been highly de debated and highly contentious. You know, for me, my MVP for a while was Tyreek Hill because of what he was doing and he was on pace, you know, to do something great, you know, getting 2,000 receiving yards. Also, Christian McCaffrey has been on point. But I'm going to be honest, I never had Brock Prudy as my MVP because even on his own team, he's not the best player. The best player on the 49ers is Trent Williams. Everything starts with Trent Williams. Then you have the defense. Then you have Christian McCaffrey. Then you have, you know, Ayuk, Adibo. You know? Then Dak Prescott for a while was, you know, doing things. Then Lamar started, you know, creeping up. And when his name started get, uh, you know, started getting louder for the MVP uh, conversation, you know, for the MVP award, he had a Christmas game against the Niners. Then followed that performance up against the Dolphins with a five passing touchdown with some yards on the ground as well and a perfect passing rating. You know, as a whole, the Ravens has been a good team. Offense, defense, you know, people talk about their loss that they beat themselves. Maybe, and maybe they are right, but people fail to forget that in a new offense with a new offensive co uh, coordinator, there was going to be some growing pains, you know. And it seems like everything is working out. They are the number one seed. They're the best teams. They've been beating teams. They've been blowing out teams. They beat the Seahawks when they were hot. They beat the Detroit Lions when they were hot. They beat the Niners. They beat the Dolphins. They had the beautiful shootout games against the Rams. To be honest, I think that's one of my favorite Sunday night football games so far. That game against the Rams was on point. Both teams, you know what, any team could have won that game. You know, the Rams could have taken that game as well. Uh, Matthew Stafford and Puka Nukua bowled. Lema Jackson bowled as well. You know, anytime you watch Lema Jackson, it gives you prime time. And you have Roquan and that Ravens defense. And that power run game, you know. Despite the injuries, the Ravens have shown that they are a good, resilient team. And, you know, it is such a shame that a lot of people didn't give the Ravens respect. In the beginning, and now a lot of people want to bandwagon on the Ravens. You know, a lot of media personalities have really disrespected Lema Jackson this season. But Lema Jackson, to be honest, based on his demeanor, based on his press conferences, He's not even worried about the MVP. He wants that ring. He is focused on that Super Bowl ring. He wants to be a champion. He has the mindset of a champion. And when you have a leader like Rokon Smith for that defense, that is a great recipe for uh, great things to happen in the postseason. And I will not be surprised if the Ravens win the Super Bowl. If they continue with this mentality, with this focus, you know, I will not be surprised if they win it. Who can beat them? People are training the Browns. Everybody is falling in love with the Joe Flacco story. Good. But people fail to forget that 
the Cleveland Browns have some dogs on the offense. Ujoku is a good Titan. They have Amari Cooper as a receiver. And they have Miles Garrett and that beautiful defense. <laughs> the Cleveland Brown probably they are second to the Ravens. They are probably as good as the Ravens in terms of defense. So all Joe Flacco has to do is to be a game manager. Joe Flacco just has to make sure the ball is in his hands of the playmakers. That's all. So, well, people are saying the Browns could beat us, you know. I'm not going to count out the Chiefs. I'm not going to count out the Buffalo Bills. But the Ravens right now, if they have that mentality, get healthy and remain focused, I don't see anything beating them. So, congratulations to Lamar Jackson on solidifying his second MVP award. Congratulations to the Ravens on winning the division and clinching the number one seed. And wow, this playoffs, ooh, it's going to be a good playoffs because anything can happen in this playoffs, both on the NFC and AFC side. Anything can happen you know, in this playoff. This is going to be a very, very interesting playoffs. I mean, look, look at what happened to the Eagles. Nobody was expecting the Eagles um, to, uh, to lose to the Cardinals. And to be honest, the way the Eagles look, do not be surprised if they lose their last game as well. Um, anyways, let's get back to the Ravens. Right now, John Harbaugh and the coaching staff have a tough decision to make. Are they going to rest Lamar and the rest of the starters um, uh, for the Steelers game? You know, uh, me personally, I would like for our starters to play because, you know, the Steelers beat us this season, even though, let's be real, we should have won the game. We had eight total drops. The receivers were acting like they were blind. The receivers seems to like... <laughs> they forgot how to catch a ball during that game, but we should have won that Steelers game. But I want to be the Steelers, but hey, well, that's not, my, that's not my problem, and I'm happy with that. So John Herbo has to really have to see if he's going to rest the starters for the Steelers game. And right now, we are dealing with a lot of injuries. Carl Hamilton is injured. Marlon Humphrey is down. Um, Mark Andrews is down, Kiss Mitchell is down, Gus Edwards is down, Brandon Stevens is down. You know, we have a lot of guys down, and Patrick Quinn has been playing injured for the last three games. And I think Roquan Smith as well has been playing injured for the last three games. You know, that you know, shout out to Patrick Quinn and Roquan Smith. I mean. <laughs> I've been noticing they've been playing injured for the last three weeks, man. Those guys have, you know, <clears throat> they are really trying to show the world that they're the best linebacker duo in the league. And in my own opinion, they are the best linebacker duo in the league. So this is a good thing that the Ravens were able to win the division and not only that, clinch the number one seed in the AFC, which will give them a lot of needed rest because they got that bye week. So. That's going to help them rest, and and I hope the guys rest well, do what they need to do, eat healthy, and get their bodies rested and healed up. And, of course, the mission is to get that championship in February, you know. And I believe the Baltimore Ravens have the potential, have the mentality, have the makeup, have the necessary ingredients to get the job done. So shout-out to Lemar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens. Shout out to Flock Nation. Shout out to the city of Baltimore. Yeah, on the road to the playoffs. See you all in the Super Bowl. Yep, as you're leaving, please do like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Have a good day and a happy new year. Bye-bye.